Welcome back to more Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King, everybody. This is actually going to be the finale. Yes, finally, right? That's crazy. I mean, it's only episode 7, but... Anyway, this video is going to be, uh... Oh my god. Well, first of all, these rooms are going to be ridiculous. Like, by this point in the game, they're going to be pretty insane. There's like four or five different types of enemies trying to hit you at the same time. There's those annoying wall things that you cannot destroy. Then there's orcs. There's the armored things that look like freaking dark nuts. There's spiders. There's all the little moving spike thingies that go back and forth in the walls. There's just a bunch of crap going on here, and you don't even need money by this point, so I don't even know what I'm doing here. Let's get out of here, seriously. What I need to do here is find a specific um, switch somewhere down here. There's more treasures. I'll get them because they're in plain sight. Because I know some of you are going to be like, why didn't you get it? It's right there. I mean, true, I guess. They're useless, but I'll still get them. Yeah, you just expect to take a bunch of damage in here. That's where it was, by the way. It's that pot, actually. Get out of the way, please. I'm taking a lot of damage in here. This part's just insane. Like, I don't even know, man. If you want to do a no damage run, do you know how careful you have to be in this freaking room? Like, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, I finally got rid of all that junk there. Let's go this way. There's some pots here, at least. There's also a warp. Whoops. No, get... I don't want to do that. I the same button to activate it that's why but I'm trying to just attack let's get out of here we're done okay the big thing I recommend here is equipping bombs this is the mini boss of the this dungeon enough I'm impressed you made it this far but your journey ends here many nights have I slain in the name of crocus but killing you will be extra special prepare to feel your bones crack and blood boil little knight yeah so I recommend just throwing bombs at this guy uh, if he gets close to you, then yeah, use your freaking sword. But I also don't like, yeah, I, I recommend not fighting on that conveyor belt. It will confuse the crap out of you, like it seriously will. I think he eventually... How, how did I not hit him, dude? Are you kidding me? No, grab the thing. What the hell? Wait, but I thought you can hit the fake ones, no? Seriously? I could have sworn that's how you do it, but anyway. Whatever, just keep lunging bombs at him and he'll go down eventually. He's not that crazy. He hasn't really approached me though, so I haven't been able to... Oh, there we go, finally kind of hit him. And the other battles, like when I play this game by myself, like he would constantly come to the middle of the room. But he hasn't really done that in this battle. I don't know why. It's like he's afraid of me this time. It's like he knows my strategy or something. We just pummel him with sword attacks if he gets close. Not that it's any better for him if he's far away with bombs. There you go, he's finally getting close. I can dish out some okay damage. There we go, see? It's the bombs. If you have upgraded bombs, like, those are boss killers. Like, seriously. Here we got an item, the small medallion crackle with power in the young knight's hand. The knowledge to call down lightning from the sky was now hers. We're only going to be using this ability in the final boss, the lightning emblem, and you'll see how it works. Um, but it's, it's cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to run through this room here. You just got to run through as fast as you can so you don't get shocked in here. There's going to be a lot of enemies chasing you, like right there, and we basically got... Oh my god. I hate this freaking loot. Oh, damn it, why did I... Get away, you stupid spiders! God, I hate these things. Move it. Move it, all of you. I'm gonna get through. Thank you. My god, dude. Okay, let me kill these spiders right now. I hate those spiders. They're so fast. They're just all up on your ass the entire time. Like, it's crazy. Okay, where am I? Oh, I know where I am. Okay. You basically have to... Wow, that's insanely fast. You have to hit the top and bottom switches first in here, so do not go through the middle entrance. This is the top one. Now we're going to go back out to the previous room. And we're just going to... Well, you just pushed me right in there. I was actually going to wait, but yeah, that's the middle one, so don't do that. Get away from me, please. This is crazy. Do you see these rooms? This is insane. They just clutter the entire rooms with enemies. Like... There's almost no strategy behind it. You just have to either take a bunch of damage and kill them all or just run through and take a bunch of damage. Either way, you're taking a bunch of damage, you know? Okay, so here we got this puzzle. Um, 
I don't think it's too crazy, but we'll see. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that one there. We're going to push this one up like that, I think. I'm going to push this one further that way first because I think I have to go around like this and push... Uh, let's see. I think I can do it twice and go like that. Yeah, I think I got it. This one's actually not that bad. To be honest, these puzzles... For being like the last dungeon, they're not too crazy. Like, I've actually experienced more difficult puzzles in earlier areas in the game. You know, I'm just saying, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. Okay. There we go. And with that, that does complete this puzzle, so we can go on through to the next one, the next room. Here we got another conduit thing. Okay, again, our, the first thing I recommend is the corners put them in their only possible thing that you're going to be doing that might help a little bit because there's no other solution to the corners you know you have to put them like that here I'm going to I'm just going to pick a side and see what happens here um I think we'll go like this we'll put that one down uh let's see what I'm doing here I think we'll go like that Uh, no, we'll go like this, switch that one this way. Okay, we got that one done. And then for this one, okay, I'm going to want to hit that one like that and go down. Duh, that's actually not going to work. So, no, I, I would actually need to hit it like... Whoops, not like that. Like that, I think. Let me try that. Make that go all the way down, because see, this one, this is where it gets a little complicated, because I think I have to set it up like this, so I would have to put that one up like that, which means, there we go, just like that, okay, that worked, that takes care of the second of three doors, so we're making progress there, and I guess I'll hit this pod and it can get a heart. Nope, I did not. Because I'm over half dead. Like, these enemies, I'm telling you, they're, they're pretty brutal. They will actually pummel you a lot with hits and stuff. So I think here what I want to do is go up north now. To the next section. I think that's where I need to go. Yeah, there's a switch here. Let's go ahead and hit this. Yeah, there we go. And now we can enter this area. Okay. Alright, so this is a large room here that's kind of like a big giant, almost like a figure eight of some sort, if that makes sense. Um, what I have to do here, though, is just kind of go through. I'll just fall through right there. Yeah, there's that. So I want to go over here. And hit that switch to unlock the door, or not the doors, but the gate thing on the bottom. Go, go down, go down. At least those spiders can't follow you down, like seriously. Oh my god. Just get away from me. I hate these things. And there we go. Room solved. Now we just gotta go through. Why didn't you fall? Go down, Lily, you stupid. She just stayed there, like, y'all saw that, right? Oh my god, okay, kill these. They're so annoying. You see how annoying these spiders are? I hate them so much. Okay, so this room is actually another one that's kind of a pain, I think. Wait, actually... What the hell? Dude, don't... Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Go! I can do this. I can do this. Oh wait, okay, this is actually not the worst room. There is another room later on that's even more worse, and you will actually see what I'm talking about. Oh my god, it almost got me, but I did it. I did it. Uh, let's see. Okay. We're getting there. Give me that heart. I'm about to die. Well, at least I got a bunch of potions, which I can just use, you know? Oh, this is the one! This is the one! This is the horrible room! You'll see. Oh my god, I hate this room. This room is awful. Okay, here we go. We got this. I'm not gonna talk a lot. I gotta focus. Go, go, go. Okay, that's fine. It pushes me. Shit. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay, I like that, I like that, and go. Go, go. Go, go, do it. Oh my god, that room right there, that's another really bad one. Like, I'm telling you all, 
I may have done it in the first try, but it takes a lot of doing it and practicing it to be able to be good at that. You'll probably fail like 10 times. I'm not even kidding you when I say that, but anyway, we're going to take these warps down this room. That's basically how we can advance in here. Let's just keep taking our little speed thing here or speed shoes. That's what I like them for, you know? Which would I go here? Oh, there's only one way to go, my bad. Up top. Okay, and here... Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure it's... This is like, uh, you know the um, Saffron City Gym? It reminds me of that, but all it is is right... For like, bottom right, bottom right, bottom left, and that takes you to the exit on the left. Don't do anything else. They're all a waste of room and stuff, so yeah. Anyway... Uh, let's see what we can do here in this room. Here's the third and final conduit thing, puzzle, and it's not going to be an easy one. Trust me when I say that. It really is not. Okay. So, let's go ahead and hit that one. This one actually has um, eight of them, not four of them. So, you have to be very careful about this. But here we go. We're going to go with... I think we'll do that. Let's see what happens there. go down I'll leave that one like uh, yeah I'll leave it like that that's fine then we're gonna up that one up there we're gonna shoot that one that way okay that part's set let's go ahead and fix up some stuff over here now aim that one down okay that one's also set I think that's also fine mm, no point in doing that we want to do that then that one is set as well the problem here with this though is that, well no, I can actually hit that one like this and make that one go like through. Okay, we're making some progress here. We still have a bunch to hit over here. Let me actually see what I can do on... Should I do that? I probably should do that. I'm gonna hit that one that way. I'm just trying to see what I can work with here, you know? Because I'm missing only, yeah, only two more. Okay, so from here, if I hit this one, that one has to go like this, and then that one has to go up. I think I can, yeah, I can do that, but now I'm missing that one. And the issue here, though, is that I don't actually have an efficient way and getting a signal over to this side. So... Well, that's actually a rough one there, because... If I want to do that, let's say... Well, it's not that. That. This one will give me a signal to go to that side. Oh, there we go, okay. I thought I was going to miss one, but no, I got it. Okay. So that takes care of this one here. Um... All right, not bad, not bad. So that's all of them, basically. Let me hit this pot over here, I guess. I don't know. Nothing. Let's go west. And this will actually take us, yeah, but it takes us right there. Wow, that's kind of cool. Back in the main room there. Wow, we're pretty much already at the final area then. That is ridiculous. We went through this dungeon like really fast. Okay, well, I'm going to do this in that case. Let's go use one of these. Might as well. As far as items, um, I think I really only need that. It's not an overly difficult boss. I mean, if you have the hearts and healing, it's going to be fine. Electricity crackled through the air as our hero walked before the evil throne. This is it, Grandpa. The final showdown. You. I never thought I hate a stupid little knight as much as I do my brother. Even though my powerful spells kept the kingdom safe all these years, the entire kingdom always adored Orchid instead. Perhaps I could have been nicer to the people, maybe not force them to do grueling personal chores for me, but still, none of that will matter once I dethrone my brother and take the kingdom. Young knight, you'll be the first to bow down to me, Wizard King Crocus. Okay, it's a pretty simple strategy. Tank the hits. If he goes up there and press the X button, because you'll be able to shoot lightning at him, like what you're seeing right there. 
and you can do some damage. That's really the only purpose of this freaking lightning emblem that I've seen in the entire game. This part is pretty simple to dodge. Oh, he has a laser beam attack. What in the world? Shoot some more lightning at him. There we go. Well, yeah, only use lightning when he's up there. When he goes down here, just tank the hits. He sometimes transforms into a bat, as we just saw right there. But other than that, you just want to use sword hits and just tank the hits, because there's not there's not really a point in dodging, to be honest. Like, oh shoot. There we go, more lightning shocks. He'll go down eventually, I mean, he doesn't have too much health. Which is surprising, it's like pretty simple for a final boss, you know? Like, really. I don't care, I'm taking the hits. Do some more lightning. I don't have any lightning left. Another hit, okay. Get him. Okay, still waiting. I think I'm gonna do oh my god. Got him. That's it. Oh, a mighty wizard. Defeated by a lowly recruit? Curse the knights. Curse my foolish brother. Curse you, Lily. And that's it. We have defeated the Wizard Crocus. And so the Wizard Crocus was defeated, never to cast a terrible spell on another living soul again. Yay, Blossom Kingdom can finally have peace. Let the celebration begin. And I'm back. Our kingdom is forever in your debt. Please take this royal bracelet as a small token of your king's gratitude. May it help you cleanse our lanes of the evil that still lingers thanks to my brother. Long live Lily, hero of Blossom Kingdom. And so ends the story of Blossom Tales, the Sleeping King. I really like that story, Grandpa. She sure was brave. Oh yes, yeah, only showed us that even when it looks like darkness has won, anyone can be a hero. All it takes is a little courage and a lot of heart. So, which story is next? Oh ho ho, be good tomorrow and I'll tell you another one before bed. As for now, it's time for young, you young spots to hit the hay. Okay. Good night, Grandpa. And thanks for the story. And they're just going to walk to bed now. Going back to sleep, huh? Wow. Fun game, I will say. Very fun game. The end. So I know this video so far has been incredibly short, but that's okay, because there's still a, little, a few more things I want to show you after the credits and stuff, but basically, again, it's Zelda. It's very inspired by Zelda. A lot of the abilities are like that, the movements, things like the sword beam and the heart containers and heart pieces and, you know, dungeons and a lot of similarities, and you can see the obvious inspiration, right? I did mention this before, though, but Blossom Tales 2 actually comes out... I think officially officially in August, is it 15th or 16th in the US? So really, by the time this video is up, I think it'll be the 10th of August, so in about 4 or 5 days, I should be able to get the first video of that um, game going, which should be fun. But, yeah, I just really hope that all of you have enjoyed this. It's, it's a very fun game, cute little game, not too long, but it's, it's cute indeed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and relaunch this file, because I want to show you a couple things. They didn't just sit at home after defeating Crocus. No, sir, there were still plenty more things to do throughout our wonderful kingdom. Like finding more secrets to uncover and people in need of a heroic helping hand. Tell us, Grandpa. I don't want the story to end. I mean, sadly, I pretty much already ended the story because I've done almost everything. But I did want to show you... Um, yeah, so you should have this entire thing full here if you 100%ed it. If you 100%ed it, you should have this all the way to max. So that should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 18 different items in here. Uh, you should have the three ingredients on the right. The expansions and the energy crystals should be empty. You should have 16 en energy crystals and 48 heart, con uh, heart pieces. And um, yeah, that's about it for that. But 
I wanted to show off this final thing here. Basically, if you equip this to something, you can press the X button and you can warp at any time. So now you don't need to get one of these pads to warp. So warping and fast traveling has, is a lot easier and it's a lot easier to get around the entire world. So that's kind of cool. But that's pretty much all I was going to mention to you all. You have that ability and by this point, you can it's really up to you to, you know, 100% the game by just getting all the energy crystals all the um, heart pieces and all the scrolls, but I mean, if you have the scrolls, then you should have 20 heart pieces, because, or sorry, not 20 heart pieces, uh, all the energy maxed out, which I did. And then that's about it. I mean, we got the map, you know, I think completed. Yeah, look at that. Map has been 100%ed as well. Settings, not really much else to talk about here. That's it. We're just, your quest is over. So that's pretty much it for this game. Um, if you actually, if you quit the game, I, I don't think there's anything, any secrets, right? No, there's not, just options and play. But yeah, fun game, like I said. Um, and just be on the lookout for Blossom Tales 2, which I should be uploading in the next couple days. So, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.